Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again, Luis El Milusos. Thank you for liking, subscribing, uh, thanks for all the support. I wanted to go ahead and uh, upload this English uh, version of the double din conversion on the first gen PT Cruiser. I know that, you know, obviously uh, 01 through 05, we have no choice but to use a single din and uh, 06 and on, then, you know, they went ahead and, and actually updated that and uh, provided that opportunity. But so I went ahead and was thinking about this for a little bit. I tried uploading a, an English video. It was I was getting a lot of issues uploading that, so I figured I'm gonna re-record it right now. Uh, I did another video a few minutes ago regarding the spark plug, so I figured I'm already here. Let's get this done. So um, looking at all my stuff, um, we have the window switch. Okay, everything's let's say it's mounted. It's original. I've taken everything apart for ease of the video and for quickness. So again, you get this out. Usually a flat head would work. Just go in here and pop this out, then pull it. Um, the switch that's back here, you um, release the uh, the red safety. Let me grab that here. There it is. Let's grab that switch so you can see it. I've actually explained this in the other video uh, of the stereo, um, updating it to an aftermarket stereo and a single DIN. I have another video on that. So there's a red security pin. You push that up and then you pull, push this in a little bit press the release clip and then pull this out it's easy that comes out this one can hide back there um, then we're gonna go ahead and take this um, Phillips screw out and um, what I do is I go in here pull this side and then go in here and pull this corner these two are gonna be off then I come down pop this one out pop this one out if you haven't removed these yet when you pull this out it's gonna just pop these out and they'll come out they're gonna fall off on the floor but they won't get damaged uh, but if you can, remove them prior so that way you're sure they're not gonna get damaged. So when this this will come right off. Okay, this whole panel, the bezel comes off. Then you go ahead, what I did is I went ahead and uh, removed this screw. There's a screw, um, this mounts this way. So there's a screw here, there's a screw here. Took that off, pulled this section out. And then this one, I pushed in, this one comes in here. I can hide it in the actual dash like that. And then this one's sitting here, this mine's a GT, so it has a track off, it has the um, the defogger, it ha the fogger, and it has a rear wiper, and then it has the power outlet uh, here, the cigarette lighter. So be careful, because this, this does have power if your uh, battery's on, so you don't want the antenna wire touching anything in here, because then it, it will blow your fuse. So in any case, I took the uh, screw off of here, screw off of there. Um, the stock radio sits here, so your stock radio would have one there, one there, one there, and one there, four, four screws. Um, and it would be the stock or it would be the single uh, single DIN with the skosh. I had a, an, I have another video when I did the media uh, player conversion and I had, I mentioned the model number there. And this actually sits in the bezel before cutting it. Obviously, as you can see, I've already mutilated this. And this was a, a play bezel, so it was one that I was able to mutilate, and I have an extra one, so I mutilated this one and cut it and learned from this one. So these corners go in here like this, and then it goes across, and then it comes across this way on the bottom, and it completes the single din. I took that skosh um, setup, and I just cut it up in, in learning this, but what I did is I went ahead and cut uh, freely with my grinder. I just went in and cut, and then I took that that um, other this this adapter and then I cut it without even measuring I just said ah, okay let's cut it let's see how it goes so I kind of jumped the gun on that so I'll tell you how to do this in a little bit so okay I took this screw off of here screw off of that this pops out okay and then I did I drilled a hole here because I went out to AutoZone and I bought this toggle switch just off and on that's all it does and it comes pre-wired it's actually pretty neat because it comes pre-wired so there's two wires here so I used uh, those wires, and I'll explain that. On my wiring harness for my stereo, the one that I'm gonna use here is one that I have unboxed before, and I have a video on that on my, on my channel. It's the Pioneer, um, the AVH B, uh, 290BT, and the 291BT, they're, they're identical. So um, that's the stereo that I had unboxed. I had put it in my Kia, and that's why these brackets are from my Kia. But, these brackets fit so nicely and they pre created, um, you know, they, they serve the purpose that I need, so I left them on. Uh, but you can certainly go out and get a wider one, an actual one that you can use for the 06 PT Cruiser, like the double DIN version, and then it'll fit 
you know the actual space in this case they're a little shorter so you'll see what i did right now all right so like i've taught you in the other video um i wired it up here's my my harness okay my wiring harness to my um car this is the one for the car and this is the one i purchased and so here comes here i, I wired everything and i have an extra power and an extra ground in case i wanted to wire up a subwoofer in the future i could do that so you have two, uh, one power, one ground. I just left those separate. I wired everything up except for this is for this purple one is for my reverse gear signal input, which I'm not going to use. And then this one, that's for the camera, the backup camera. And then this one, I left it and I left it uh, loose in case I want to install a backup camera. I could do a video on how to wire that up to the backup camera, but I'll leave that there. And then this mint green one is for the e-brake. This is the one for your parking brake. And so. We're going to trick the, the stereo to thinking that it's in park and that I have the e-brake on so that I can watch videos. Now, again, it's illegal to watch videos while you drive, so don't say that I told you on my YouTube channel to do it. Okay, that's on you. But I'll show you how to do it. So I, I took this mint green one and I, and I cut a piece of the, of the wire off and then just wrapped the rest of it just so it's not all over the place. So one of the mint green went to one of the wires that came with the toggle switch and the second wire... Uh, that little other little piece of the mint green that I cut off I attached it to the second wire and it went to my ground It went to that metal bracket that is back here now. I'm going to show you what happened. So in the original setup Okay, because I know you're looking at this and you're saying man. There's a big old hole in there. What the heck happened? So the original setup has this support to the Goes this way like this on the bottom Okay, so this is your your dash. Okay, so this goes here and that metal piece is, is attached to that and then the, the plastic goes there and then this piece is in the top like this and then um, right over that there's this plastic piece that goes here. So that's why you only have this little block to work with. That's why there's only a single den allowed in there. So what I did is I went ahead and took a, a knife that almost has like a little saw um, part to it or portion to it so I went ahead and cut this off right here on the top and I cut this off here in the bottom and then this side on the left and so right and left and then this piece felt came off got rid of that took this here went down this way went down this one of course I didn't have these wires in the man in the in the way I'm just explaining what I did so I went this way I went that way and then took this two screws off this piece came off then I took a grinder and because I had all that square I went ahead and cut this part and then I had to cut the top then I turned this cut the top cut the bottom so this piece came off and then of course the top piece that was up here this piece that came off as well and now I have the whole the whole um, access uh, the whole center accessible okay once I did that that's it that's all I really needed um, I mocked up my double din and made sure it didn't touch the metal on the sides and it cleared it on the top and the bottom and that's all that I needed. So once I did that, I went ahead and put this back on because now we're done. That's how fast it was, it takes a few minutes. And then now we're gonna go ahead and assemble everything back the way it's supposed to go. And um, I'll give you some pointers and some tips based on what I learned by destroying this particular bezel and this adapter. Had I taken my time, had I measured properly, I probably would have saved it, but I needed to learn. And so you destroy and you learn in the process. Um, okay, so now that's already back where it needs to go. The switch from AutoZone, this switch right here, this toggle switch, that's just an on off. They sell long ones, ones that light up. They sell, um, you know, just different styles. I didn't want anything too um eye catching i just wanted to keep it kind of on the down low just something nice and clean clean crisp so i i took the a drill it, i think this calls for a half an inch i used something a little bit smaller than a half an inch and it actually worked out good i maybe five sixteenths or something like that i forget what it was but uh, it's a little bit smaller than a half an inch so i went ahead and drilled the hole and took the switch pushed it through and then took this little um nut and just tightened it up where it needed to be I left my on and my off uh, I, I you know it's a little sticker and that's it so then this one is gonna go back in when you have your one thing that's important this I have my battery on so this is live my antenna ground you want to make sure that this antenna wire doesn't touch any your cigarette lighter that's why I have it hiding back here because I don't want to touch that otherwise I'll, I'll blow my fuse and I don't want to deal with that so okay 
in the previous video I showed you how to do your um, your harness so there it is all wired nice and beautiful so this can go ahead and hide in the back and here's my wire for the e-brake to one corner or one wire of my switch the second wire goes directly to the ground and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna trick the stereo to thinking that it actually has the e-brake on so I'm gonna put this back in right before we do that I'm gonna... and as you can see my my space is actually starting to look like a double din the only thing I probably would have preferred is if this could come down and then my stereo could come higher that would have been cool but I'm, I'm happy with just the fact that I have a double din option now so I'm okay with that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here like this I'm gonna go ahead and power this my stereo I'm gonna bring my uh, antenna cable or my antenna adapter wire out here plug that in right on this side okay then I'm gonna do my microphone wire which is also already uh, put in here and where did it go here it is Gotta bring that out there it is that's for my microphone for my Bluetooth and lastly I'm going to use my uh, my cable oh, which I uh, happen to lock in there all right so don't make this mistake I'm gonna need to come right back to it because accidentally locked it behind or underneath this so make sure you don't pinch any wires too because that's important so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and move this and bring it up from to the top there it is I accidentally left it hiding down here okay there we go and just make sure you don't pinch any wires make sure you don't have anything that's gonna you know mess this connection or an installation up so that part will go in there this part at one point I had pulled this apart thinking this was gonna come apart and it, it's actually you need an adapter for so there's the antenna all right good deal even though I don't use a radio I'm still gonna attach the antenna I haven't listened to radio in God knows how long but I'll still leave it on all right just in case my car doesn't even have an antenna I took the antenna off anyway um, when I was using another style of um, transmitter FM transmitter the FM stations kept interfering with the other broadcasting so I actually took that off so my switch is already on I had left that on and I'm gonna show you here um, what I mean with tricking the the stereo to think that we're on e-brake all right so I put that back in okay these Kia plates remember I was telling you I used the ones that were in my Kia they're not long, wide enough to reach the second um, metal so I just did a little hole here a little hole there and then these actually worked out perfect they actually tighten up against the plastic so they work absolutely great and uh, so I'm just installing this real quick as you can see it's not very long it's real real uh, quick it doesn't take much of your time you're probably gonna spend you know maybe if you if you're just doing it without uh, you know um, wasting too much time talking or any distractions you probably get this done in an hour uh, but again if it takes an hour give yourself three or four just in case you never know what could go wrong so um, all right there's a stereo and there's this switch back in and then auto connection now because my Bluetooth is uh, my stereo was already working with my Bluetooth one of the things that's important oh, once again I've done this before and I forgot it once again okay so now the edge of your um, single din that's going to cover the edge of the curve on your bezel so what I need to do is I need to actually put this in prior to my bezel so over the metal you'll see this this is pretty cool and it'll it'll block that gap you just have to measure properly and cut it properly and if you do that you'll be fine so in my case I, I forgot again <laughs> to put it on so I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna stick this in the top right there okay and this one's gonna go in here you shouldn't have any screws left over and you shouldn't be missing any screws okay because this is a pretty cut and dry job um, so whatever you remove that's what you got to put back in all right this will come in here this will snap into place 
Oh, something important before I forget. When you're cutting this, okay, one of the things that I did is I cut it freehand and I was, you know, with my grinder, so I messed this all up. Right here in the edge, right underneath the AC buttons, there's a little piece of trim. You're gonna cut right to the edge of that, okay? Right to the edge, nice and straight, and take your time, secure it, and use something, make sure it's straight, not all crooked like I did. And then, cut the bottom according to your stereo, the width of your stereo. Once you have that section, you'll know how far over you're going to have to cut, and you can now mock this and, and mark it or whatever, and then cut it. Okay, I went ahead and cut it freehand even before I put the stereo in, just in calculations. So that's why it's all messed up. That's why it's wide like that. If you notice, if this was cut, measured properly and cut properly, I wouldn't have a gap right in here with the plastic curve from the other kit. And in this case, I almost got it, but I still have a little gap. Had this been cut further over, it would fit perfectly over the stereo and you'd have a real nice, practically professional installation. So I just clip that in. Okay, so now you're gonna put your screw right in here and then you're gonna put your switch here, make sure you lock it and then you'll be done. You just clip this in. So going to the stereo real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and go to disc and I'll show you what I was talking about. And while that loads, I'll finish this screw. And then I'll put this other switch. Make sure that we are still recording. Okay, looks like we may still be recording. I hope we are. And then I'll go ahead and pop this over. And then so it's gonna say okay, you click it off and you click it on and you click that and you have your image. So that's what I was talking about tricking. Anytime you turn it on and it doesn't give you image, just flip it off, flip it back on and you're good. I hope that this video helps you. I hope you like the uh, idea and uh, hit like, subscribe and thank you again. God bless. Uh, we're over 400 followers so, or subscribers. So we're looking to hopefully hit the 1000 soon. So I appreciate you guys um, uh, the supporting um, what, what I'm doing. Thank you. And once again, Luis Emilusos. God bless.